will be the only factor that matters. One for all! One hundred percent! If I can't protect those two, then I can't call myself a hero! This is a race against time! We're the only heroes on this island. We're the only ones who can save the people here. We're gonna kick the crap out of these losers. We won't stop now! I'll blast this villain with everything I've got! Detroit! Welcome, everybody, to the three-way podcast show. Actually, <laughs> this is the hump day show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even I forgot. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right, cut that, cut that, cut that. Ah, we're keeping it in. I haven't got my ears on. Oh, we're doing oh my God. All right, all right. Hey, welcome, everybody, to the hump day show. This is our weekly podcast that comes out, comes out every hump day, every Wednesday, it gives you a dedicated uh, cast on what we're feeling that week, that week. And this week, it's my hero, Academia. Yeah. Heroes rising. Heroes rising. Rising baby. all the way up. Uh, all the way up. So let me let me go ahead and start off with this quick synops, just to get it out of the way, so oh, we can start talking about quick, this game. I'm Public Enemy 59, your host with the most los. And right behind the magic there <laughs> is uh, Eli, aka Jerks. Man, they already know, bro. They know the, yeah. they you know the stats. You already know. You already know. Anyways, I call this a game. It's a movie. Uh, the, the number one Euro anime is back in theaters. I'm, I'm reading Boom. this for Rotten Tomatoes because I have time to write this shit down. We're going to do the synopsis beyond anything fans have ever seen. Class 1A li- visits Naboo Island where they finally get to do some real hero work. Kind of. Mm-hmm. Uh, this place is so peaceful that it's more like a vacation until they're attacked by a villain. Villain? <laughs> With an unfathomable quirk. His power is eerily familiar and it looks like Shagakaki had a hand in this plan. I don't know. But... With all might retired and citizens' li- lives on the line. God damn it. There's no time for questions. <laughs> Deku and his friends are the next generation of heroes. And they're the island's only hope. All right. So this is the second movie from My Hero Academia. It did not let me down. I love it. It did not. <laughs> it did not, bro. Like, to be honest, my expectations were up there. Because the show every week is... It's, it, it, even when it's just story stuff, when it's just building yeah. characters, it's still so good. Yeah, I even but, I even bro, caught up with the the anime because I was waiting for all the dubs to release. I was like, "Fuck yeah. it, I'll I'll catch all the anime." And then like I think the last two episodes were like subs. I was like, "Fuck, whatever." But yeah, it was so good, so good, so good, <laughs> so good. Like, bro, and okay. The movie is the season finale, if I'm not wrong. Okay, speaking of that, okay, just FYI, everybody who's who's here uh, watching this, full spoilers alerts. Because this this movie, this movie, it looks like it's going to be canon, and it looks like it's it's story uh, to the main mainline series itself. Yep. Because the first one didn't really have that. It was like a one-off where it, it was, was like a, contained it was in its vacation. own. Yeah, it was it contained was like in its own vacation. world. But this one actually has implications for the main series. But yes, they had abilities that I had not seen yet. And I was like, oh shit, I guess I guess I got to catch up to the anime and see where they're at. Because they, no. they didn't even show that. Uh, uh, they, I haven't seen that yet, those abilities. But even when I caught up with the anime, those shits haven't even happened yet. Nope. Like Deku's like nope. fucking fingering of the uh, little air uh, no, donuts. He learned that. He learned that right, like towards the end of the of whatever. The he was just are at learning right now. it, yeah. He was just, and then he didn't right have there, he didn't have like that type of glove it. either. He didn't have that glove either that that you're turned right, into the right. the donut shit. So yeah, there were some new things that that was going on. Like uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, red uh something. I forgot his name. Uh, the the guy who turns into like hard as uh stone yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like red, he. Red, red, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what was there. I forgot. But anyways, he he had that ability where he was like hard as fuck, and like he was uh like impenetrable. I was like, oh shit, that's fucking new too. I was like, no, no, no. It. He did that in the in the in the season though. Well, yeah, what I'm it. saying is that I didn't I didn't catch that in the in the series because I wasn't I wasn't watching oh. the series. I was watching. I was waiting for the dubs. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, okay. You saw the movie before you finished the season. Yeah. 
because I didn't think oh, because wow. because I was okay. hearing it was gonna be its own isolated thing. So I was like, oh shit. Well then I don't yeah, have to watch the anime. I thought the same, but no, man. It's like integral to the season. It's like all in and bro. I mean, blue. Look, I watched it with my wife, yeah. and my wife's like a like a casual My Hero Academia fan. Like she'll catch episodes here and there. Yeah. Bro, she loved it. Like, and she's hard on movies. She don't like movies like that, but. Like, bro, this is like for the casual fan, for the hardcore fan, this is <laughs> for people that never seen it. I feel like this would be like that super entertaining. So it, it just hits all the all the all the checks, the check marks, all the boxes. Um for all kinds of fans. It has the action, like it has crazy action. It probably has the most action I've ever seen. Throughout uh, any of my hero academia, including the last movies, like well, some bro, of the this, some of the story. Brings all of it. Okay, let's talk about a little bit of what's going on in the story. So basically, there was a character named Nine who, uh, uh, what was it? He he had his own mission of things he wanted to do with the world, obviously. Yeah, and then, but he utilized the, and, the League of Villains yes, to get operated and have because, that power that. One for all, or all for one. All for house. one. But the thing is, is yeah. that he was sick and he was dying, mm -hmm. and he was looking towards uh, uh, seeing uh, what the League of Villains had uh, to help him with, and apparently they modified him to be able to have uh, a piece of one for uh, all for one, but it only allowed him to uh, to uh, 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 absorb nine quarks, yeah. just nine. Nine. So they yeah, called yeah, yeah. him nine, but he had another name. But anyways, so. In the search for this guy to um, find a specific quark, uh, he it's like some kind of like uh, gin, like cell manipulation, restoration, like some type of uh, quark that it messes with people's cells. Well, it leads him to this island because uh, the dad, he tried to absorb his quark, but the, the, it wasn't like the same blood type. But the yeah, son who crazy. was on this island does have that blood type he needed. Cell regeneration? Something, something like that. Like I forgot that? what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so he goes to this island with him and his like, what, three goons? Dude, th those guys are fucking cool too. Like Slice, it was Slice, it was Mummy. It was uh, who else was uh, Chimera? He was fucking cool. That Chimera one was bro. fucking awesome. Yeah, bro, he was like, and I, you know, some people don't like that they didn't really build up their story arcs. Yeah, like maybe they would have in the show. And yeah, I understand that. But him specifically, Ky you said Chimera, right? Yeah, Chimera. Um, they did build him up a little. They showed yeah, his, they showed like, a little bit of his background for joining nine and yeah we didn't get to see that for slice or we didn't get to see that for mummy but uh nonetheless the villains i think were like well thought out i mean yeah. yes it would have been cool to maybe see some background on a, a, a more but nonetheless they were menacing they were tough to be it, yeah it they was were like, hella tough to be it and was they, tense. They, there was actually yeah. a moment where they were actually in a fight and then they they got their asses kicked, but they were but they were able to like regroup and come back and like fight them again, and yeah. like you can tell like the, the, these uh like uh class one A was like on the struggle bus. They had no help. All communications were cut off. Yeah. Uh, we had no All Might anymore. Of course, he's retired because he 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 gave up all his power to Deku now. Uh, it it it, it did, you did feel the tension now. For a person who doesn't watch uh, My Hero, like, I don't think you guys are going to really, like, like this, like, in terms of the beginning and mid parts of this uh, film. Uh, the, 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 the third act is re really where everything just, like, takes off and yeah. just goes to another level. But I, yeah. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it from first, second, and third act. Uh, I love the, oh, yeah. the story building to where they, they actually all work together to protect this kid uh, in order for Nine and his other goons not to get him. Uh but let's let's talk about how uh, Deku and Bakugo like. All oh right, you want to go God. right to it? Yes, okay. it was so, so good. The first fight against Nine, like you see these guys giving it their all. Yeah. Right, and just in that in that first fight, like just how Bakugo and uh, and Deku cooperate, like that in itself is like okay, cool. Like badass, they're going all in. Bakugo's anger, 
Deku, like, bro, it's it's so badass. And then the second fight yeah. against Nine, like, where they all just bring it all together, it's like, bro, some well, of the most epic scenes uh, that uh, we've seen. A uh, lot, yeah, a lot of the Deku and Bakugo dynamic, it does feel a lot like Goku and Vegeta. But the only difference I see here yeah. is that, of course, uh, De uh, Bakugo never started off as like a real villain. He was always been just an asshole. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. But I, I do see like, man, that comparison is a very good one. Yeah, to be like, honest, I've never thought about that. And now that you bring it up, it's mm -hmm. a it's a very solid comparison how that relationship grew grew over time. Yeah. And how this one is growing and what it did in this movie, like yeah, crazy. like they they have this they do have that comparison, but also like I said, I've been catching up with the anime. Like I'm all ca caught up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like they're they're sh they're really showing Bakugo as being like a fucking mastermind when it comes to like technique to battles to strategizing like he's he might seem like he's just off the handle uh, like wild but yeah he, like the dude knows what the fuck he's doing like he and knows you know what, what? He's doing. his fights and his experience with deku has made him better because Hell yeah. before he was all just power 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 for Fighting Deku has made him better. Yeah, it's, and vice versa. That, yeah, they, they're both yeah. getting better because of each other. And Yeah, and Deku realizes he needs to step it up. He can't just rely on his on his head. He he needs to step up his power to face Bakugo in, in, those, in those fights during the season. So it kind of all comes to fruition in yeah. this movie. It's like all their experience with each other. Like, these guys don't play. And, and man, it, it makes for some great... So Jeez, yeah, some great movie so watching for sure. The second fight they had with Nine, like it's pretty much the the, the climactic ending to this film. Let, let me mention one yeah. thing before you go there mm -hmm. is how they kind of showcase all the supporting heroes. Like every hero does their part in this movie. Oh and yeah, that's something we we don't really see in the series like often. Like everyone has their episode, I feel. Yeah. But in this movie. Everyone kind of showcases their skills. Yeah. Everyone showcases True. like has a scene. There, yeah. There's a good ch uh, chunk of the of the movie where we don't see Deku or Bakugo. We're we're straight up focusing on all the uh, other yeah, heroes. Uh, like and Todoroki I, what... and Ida. Like when they were grouping up, like they they all strategized to group uh, to separate it and like fight certain uh, yes, villains. Yes, yes, and it, it was really me, that's it was like really well done. Some of my favorite part of the movie is. Uh, you know, we have our staples, the, you know, uh, the pervert hero, I forget his name. Uh. Uh, yeah, I forgot his name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, you know, we get all our staples throughout the movie. We, get, we you know, uh, lead us, the, the, you know, acting like super, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> ah, shit, yeah. He's just like being the class leader like he always is. You know, we see the staples, but that final that final part of the movie where we see each of them excel at their skills, we see them like, man, tough it out because it ain't easy, man. It, they get beat up by these villains, yeah. and uh, I, I, to me, that's one of my favorite part of the, part of the movies for sure. Um, to be honest, uh, even going back to the anime itself, the series, I uh, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I know this is not kind of like morbid, but I wouldn't mind if that like some of them start dying off. <laughs> Look, man. I was I, like, it's too many of them. <laughs> you, you know, I, I, I feel like they're in this for the long run. Yeah. So I think they're getting us to that point where mm -hmm. to really love these characters. Because, yeah, I mean, we're going to get there. They killed I off mean, them. I mean, each character uh, is very unique, though. So, I mean, I, I, I get it. But still. And they killed off uh, Ooh. All Might's uh, sidekick. What's oh, the, his, his predecessor, uh, uh, Night Eye. Yeah. Oh, and that's versus his, you know, his former teammate, his former partner. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that sucked, but yeah, they haven't really messed with the yeah. core characters. And uh, I don't know. I, I, that'll be tough to watch. Man. I mean, that's we could talk fan. about the I anime. Yeah, the series. Actually, I have a lot of theories on that because I don't watch, I don't read the manga. I just strictly stick to the anime. So, yeah, yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not skipping ahead. But, uh, but speaking of the, the film itself, though, the final fight, though, like, it, 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 Deku couldn't do it at 100%. Bakugo couldn't do it at a hundred percent. Bro, a hundred percent. Yeah. Bakugo's going Full all Kali. in. Yeah. Yo, bro, like they couldn't hit. Like, yeah, many times they stuck him. They hit him with the base they had. This full nine kept getting up and kept getting up, kept getting up. Like, 
bro, like, when is this man going to finally drop? And, uh, yeah, we get to that final. So, part. yeah, we get to the point where it's like, all right, uh, they're, they're pretty much both beat up. They don't know what to do. But Deku's like, you know what? Fuck it. If we're going to probably die. Let me try this out. So what does he yeah. do? He shares all for, one for Bro. all. He, he shares no, he it. He doesn't with, share it. In his mind, he gave it to he's him. giving it up. He's yeah. giving it up. He's giving and it yeah, up to he, Bakugo. He feels like, just like uh, All Might, he still had some of the power left behind. Yeah. He, but once I'm done with that power, that's He's going to die. And, yeah. Bro, like, wow. Like, I didn't see that coming. Like, Okay, yeah, I didn't see that coming. Around. That shit was crazy. I thought, I thought, okay, these two fools are fighting together. It's Dunskis. Like, yeah. they got it. Nine ain't going to be able to hold it down. Nah, Nine was... Well, Nine um, had, um, like, until now, Nine he had several like, abilities. He had, like, a a, yeah. a, a light beam, uh, like, a shield a that's, shield. like, light. He had, like, uh, he can control the weather. He had, like, some kind of, like, weird, like, blue, like, shit coming out of his back like it looked like a fucking yeah. Gyarados like uh, no blue eyes dragon a blue eyes white dragon Yu -Yu coming out of his yeah, ass of his... <laughs> and he had what else did he have he had like lasers and shit uh I don't yeah, know I, yeah. he had like the purple laser shit I don't know what it was but yeah, yeah 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 he had a bunch of powers like the dude was not fucking around and no but, but it, it turns out like you know, desperate time com com uh, calls for desperate desperate measures. So Deku shared his abilities, well, his all for one or one for all with Bakugo, expecting Bakugo since he's the stronger of the two. He's like, oh, he can probably wield it better than I can. So he gives it to him, and then all of a sudden, like they both go into like fucking Super Saiyan mode. That shit yes. was crazy. <laughs> Yeah, like That's their eyes were was. like going bananas. They look like they look like characters from fucking uh, what's that show called? Rick and Morty. Like their eyes looked all <laughs> fucked up, but col colorful. But they were like full, like on, like just glowing with power, bro. Just full power. Bakugo has uh one for all. Yeah, and. Bro, just the crazy shit we yeah. see from these guys, like it's crazy. Nothing, like nothing seen before mm -hmm. in the in the series. And I want to bring up something from the uh, from the writer, the creator of the of the series. Yeah, he was asked, like at first he wasn't sure about making the second movie. Like to be honest, he was against it. Okay, but uh, and I'm not gonna go. Uh, like full quote but basically what he said was like you know i wanted to end it off like this season like in a certain way and that's why he decided to do the second movie because he wanted to go all out mm -hmm. now asked if he wanted if, if we're gonna see other movies he's like totally against it like this man does not like the movie aspect but for some reason he wanted to end this one off in a in a bank and sure enough bro like this is like my hero academia at his best. Yeah, it be was honest. it was incredible. The that fight scene, like they kind of like turned off the the sound effects and just let the music play, like during their battle with Nine. It was so fucking good. Yeah, like, I was like, wow. I loved it because at their best, they just okay cut everything off, just show the action, have the music playing, and that's all we need. And sure enough, bro, that's all you needed. Like, yeah, I'm just there, like. like <laughs> <what> <laughs> Why not, like, bro? Like, yeah, it was it incredible. Was, it, it was, was awesome. Crazy good. But uh, yeah, but so we get this fight. Of course, they beat nine. Uh, here come the heroes finally showing up. Uh, uh, and then we kind of they kind of move on towards the like end of the of the movie, and then it turns out that Bakugo doesn't remember taking uh one for all. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't remember. remember. And then because uh, they were both unconscious. Yeah. And I get it. If I was unconscious after that fight, I probably wouldn't remember what happened, to and, be honest. Like, and then uh, Deku tells All Might of what happened, and he's like, well, it's it's supposed to be shared. Like, it's meant to be shared. So and you, you did the right you thing. You did the right like, thing. You did, you did what you had to do was to save the island, to save that kid. Yeah, save um, all the people on that island. Yep. Yeah. Like, save your friends. Yeah. Every, that's exactly what the power... One for all for, is yeah. meant for for someone who would who is willing to do all that and it looks like the power was returned to to deku 
Well, like, I, I think I think that's what I'm saying. I think it was shared. I think Bakugo is going to have it, but he's not going to know he has it. And I think they're going to uh, incorporate that in the mainline series. What? Uh, I, I don't, I don't, that's your theory? Like, yeah, I, I don't, thought, I don't, I don't like, think they're going to change it. away from Bakugo and give him right back to Deku because the predecessors noted what Deku did yeah. and decided, like, no, we need to give it back to Deku. Now, oh, is it okay. shared? That would be crazy. Like, if some moment in the future Bakugo kind of – realizes his new power yeah like damn that would be crazy but well i don't my know my feeling is that it was returned to deku well yeah kind of think of it thinking about it uh, bakugo i don't know if he's gonna want it though because then he's gonna feel like oh like that's I, exactly what i can't i, feel like I can't if, get stronger on my own like i had to take yeah, all, one for all if bakugo knew that it, that he had that power no which he did at the moment and yeah. he doesn't remember but let's say bakugo at later on was like you gave me this power i feel like Bakugo would straight give it back up like yeah. no i don't need it i'm gonna be the number one without it yeah like i don't need your power like that's the kind of like person Bakugo is like yeah he, he feels he doesn't need that extra help i feel like he would have returned it anyway so for yeah, that that's power true. to be returned back to deku i feel was just in the end the best thing to do the predecessors the forefathers or whoever <laughs> the prior uh, heroes just yeah. decided, hey, yeah, let's give it back to Deku and call it a day. And uh, but who knows? We'll see. Um, All right. Well, yeah. Well, what's your uh, final rating on this, bro? Ten out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> I think. I think that's my first ten out of ten that I've given in this hump day shows. <laughs> hump day shows overall. I don't think I've ever given a ten out of ten. This movie exceeded my expectations. Um. It gave me much more than the series and the prior movie has. And I'm not. Bang, oh, I I'm still love the first the one. Two Heroes is still fucking good to me. I love that one, too. No. Two Heroes is legit. Yeah. But this surpassed it, bro. And that's why I got to give it the 10 out of 10. It's, it's a magnific magnificent movie. Like, you, you couldn't really do any better than this. It, it's crazy how they hit it on the mark. Uh, that's how I feel. Yeah. Uh, as a fan. 10 out of 10 as a like regular movie goer maybe like a 7 out of 10 because like because i don't think like it, the casual person who doesn't watch the anime is not gonna like the beginning parts i think you're wrong i think yeah they're you, you're you're missing some of that story but first of all casuals aren't really watching this movie you know yeah. all the hardcores are but yeah i think a casual fan will can still enjoy this movie because there's a lot of building character building in the movie itself and it's a lot about working together and i think anybody can relate to that okay Lit. all right well all right yeah yeah hey uh <laughs> thank you everybody for watching let us know what you think of the movie in the comments like share subscribe let everyone know did you hate the movie did you like it are we wrong are we right I mean, what do you think of Deku? Is Bakugo still evil? Is he going to be a villain? What's going to happen to the League oh, of Villains? Man. We need Let to talk about the, the series. Like, I really have so many theories about it, but I, I can't. We're, it's not the place right Bro, here. Bro, <laughs> right now we're in the midst of this uh, uh, Mr. Gentle. What's his Oh, like, yeah. What? Uh, gentle Criminal. Ooh. Yeah. What's <laughs> yeah, going so, on? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know. But hey, I movie was great yeah thank you guys for watching catches every every uh wednesday we got the hump day show coming out it's different topics every wednesday uh tell us how you feel tell us what we should cover next thank you guys for watching peace good night bye good afternoon morning bye